What's going on, Soul Tribe? Welcome back to the channel, Emperor's Light to Row. It's me, Tony, your spiritual guide, and I'll be channeling your love messages for the next few minutes. Don't forget to like the video as you come into the reading and subscribe to the channel as well so that we continue to grow and you can get more messages like this in the future. So, hopefully you guys are having a good day today. It is the 8A portal. I recently did a live. Hopefully you guys can catch the replay on that live. And yeah, everyone that was there, <laughs> thanks for showing up and supporting the reader. So I'm going to be using the uh, Mythic Goddess Tarot deck in this particular channel message to see what spirit wants to relate through the Carlomancy. Different deck, different flavor, right? Different perspective. We're going to be checking the energetics of the person um, that's connecting to you. Whether you see this person as a romantic option or this person sees you as a romantic option. Yeah, so we're going to be checking the energies between you guys, seeing how this person's coming towards you as well. So let's get into it. All right, we got 111 on the timer. Let's start your message. Any jumpers? Highest messages of love and light, please and thank you, spirit guides, ancestors, spirit in the most high. Okay, that's weird. What, what, is, what are these? The Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Lover's card. So if someone wants to rush towards you here, Knight of Wands, swift moving energy, very passionately. Ten of Pentacles. This person could be very wealthy, right? Successful and abundant. Right? The Fool. It's, it's perhaps a fire sign energy here with the Knight of Wands and the Fool showing up. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Optimism, and the Lover's. So, yeah, what I'm seeing is someone wants to rush in uh, to some sort of a union with you here. Looks like a soulmate connection. All right. Let's get into your actual reading. What's the vibes? Love and romance. The matters of the heart for the collective. What's that person thinking and feeling? And how will they be approaching or connecting to this? Romantic relationship. Grounding the spread is the five of wands. Competition. Conflict. My paparazzi's card. So there could be a lot of people involved in a situation or your person is going through some sort of a change. This could be you going through some sort of a change. Could be physically. The high priest is showing up. So a spiritual love connection. I know the person that's coming towards you is very spiritual. Water sign energy. They may have hidden talents, gifts, or abilities. All right. They may be <clears throat> very secretive. Um, they may even be a little isolated. They could be to themselves. This could even be some sort of a teacher as well. The King of Cups, yeah. A water sign. Strong water sign placements. Or well, this person is coming towards you. Um, I'm guessing this is a season for love. I'm getting the music for love. Mario. The King of Cups is Scorpio. So, okay, so this person recently went through some sort of a spiritual awakening or a dark, dark night of the soul, right? The High Priestess is a spiritual awakening and the Knight of Cups is Scorpio, right? Very dark and brooding. Very powerful energy, right? That's why people people say the, the, the King of Cups, <laughs> he's not really um, emotional. It's just that he's good at hiding his emotions like a Scorpio, right? Nonetheless, a very rom rom romantic, empathic, and intuitive individual. He's a supportive leader. Uh, we have the five of pentacles showing up. So more five showing up. Your person's definitely going through some, some sort of a change here. I'm not sure if it's a loss. I mean, it could be weight loss. <laughs> the two of pentacles. Yeah, they're balancing or juggling at this time. Balancing resources. Looking to obtain some sort of a stability here. The Four of Cups. Yeah, it looks like they're in a meditative state at this time. Right? Not really taking on too many romantic adventures or um, allowing any romantic options to come in. Right? They're not letting any romantic opportunities come in, but they're going after you or they're coming towards you. And yeah, it looks like this person's going to come towards you very spiritual or very meditative. Mm -hmm. Justice. Yep. Yeah, the number 11. 
And then we have the high priestess here. It looks like 11, but it's not. But regardless, this is a very powerful relationship that's headed towards you. Again, a spiritual union. The person see uh, peace and balance with you. This is like a soulmate twin flame energy here. Someone with dark hair, possibly. Nine of Swords clarifies the, uh, the King of Cups, which is like nervousness, mental illness, and anxiety. Sleeplessness. You could be dealing with a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Clairvoyant, even. Eight of Swords. Yeah. You're getting some sort of a mental projection. I'm not sure what the message is, though. But the Eight of Swords is a mental prison, right? It's being blocked in one's thoughts or reoccurring um, mental cycles, right? You could be thinking the same thing over and over. We got the Ace of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. New love or a new opportunity for romance. This could also be someone's clairvoyant gifts activating, going through a spiritual awakening here with the High Priestess. Yeah. Mm hmm so new clairvoyant gifts or spiritual gifts activating for someone. But yes, a new romance brewing, a buffing. The King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Would y'all look at that? So a lot of romance headed towards your way or an opportunity for a new romantic endeavor. Possibly leading to a very uh, spiritual union or a marriage. Four of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of clairvoyant gifts. Um, in this particular, um, this person has. Now, you could have clairvoyant gifts as well. You guys can have some sort of a psychic connection, especially with this being as close of a connection this is. And you're dealing with someone very intuitive. They might teach you to be intuitive, or you may teach this person how to be intuitive, something like that. But there's like a lot of abundant options on the table. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys may have some sort of a career in um, uh, the justice system politics or um, one of you guys may be like a teacher i'm not sure maybe too much into astrology or something like that the strength card a magician i'm sorry not a magician an alchemist mm. there's all major arcana here so this is either a strong relationship or you guys have some sort of you're from some sort of a you have a okay hold up it looks like you guys have a royal relationship okay so you guys look good together both of you guys are very beautiful here with the strength card, inner and outwardly beauty, and inward and outwardly, outwardly strength. It's a lot of power here, right? The high priestess, I mean, hidden with wisdom and knowledge is power, right? It's like being able to write in cursive when other people don't know how to write in cursive. <laughs> Let's see, Nine of Swords and the King of Cups, clarified by the Devil card. Mm -hmm. Capricorn. Temptation. That's funny because the devil, um, some people see the king of cups as the devil because they're able to hide their emotions, right? <laughs> but no, the devil, I mean, although it is opposite from cancer, it's it's definitely um, a hardworking individual. Someone very, they're like an earthbound uh, celebrity type spirit. So they could be very gifted or they could be very attractive as well. They could have a lot of talents and gifts and skills, right? They have a lot of gifts here. They're like a daemon. Yeah. Some sort of a genius. The hangman, like I said, yeah. They're very enlightened here. They may even be a healer. So, yeah, this person that's coming towards you, they could be some sort of a healer or a clairvoyant. Possibly a tarot reader or an oracle reader or something like that, a Reiki specialist. Yeah. Or mundane terms, it could be like a doctor, like I said, a psychologist or something like that. A spiritual leader or coach. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles is clarified by a Page of Cups. They have a crush on you. And they are developing clairvoyant gifts and abilities. That could be what they're trying to balance out. right? Going back to the beginning of this reading, I was trying to figure out what they're trying to balance out. It looks like they're trying to balance out their clairvoyant gifts. Right? They may be viewing you as a muse. Little engine could. I think I can. I think I can. Or they're looking at you like, if they can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> Last card of the reading. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the Four of Cups. No. Sorry. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, it does clarify the Four of Cups. And we're going to clarify the Seven of Cups, which is the Page of Pentacles. So two pages. 
Yeah, this is a student here. Someone that's learning from you or that they're learning esoterics or something like that, astrology, um, some, some form of occultism or something like that. This could be someone that's like learning hieroglyphics or whatever the case. Or, yeah, they're delving into spiritual systems because I see a lot of spiritual systems here. Someone is even like, I guess they're practicing law. They're studying law. What's under this here? What is this person hiding? The king of wands, a lot of passion. A lot of creativity. A strategist. Yeah, this person's. I guess they're training to become some sort of a leader, possibly a spiritual leader. A health culture, whatever the case may be. The five of cups, more fives showing up here. It's three fives. So it's a massive change here. This person's going through a lot of changes. The six of wands. Headed towards a sort of a victory or success. And then at the bottom of the, of the deck, the king of swords. King of wands, king of swords, king of cups. This person is coming in as a divine masculine. Four of wands. Yeah, that's your person. Your twin flame or soulmate, your divine counterpart, your kingdom spouse. Interesting message. Major Arcana or Zodiacs to show up in this reading. Water sign energy. We have the hangman and the high priestess. Pisces, Cancer. Very clairvoyant and intuitive individual. They definitely have psychic gifts. We have the devil Capricorn, a hard worker, right? Someone very um, tempting, someone very talented. This person could be obsessed with work or obsessed with being the best. But they're very attractive though, right? Even indicated here in the strength card, right? Athena here, very attractive, very powerful. Again, this person may be some sort of a, they could in, in very well be a magician. But they're an alchemist here. I mean, they could be a scientist as well, right? That would be a doctor for some justice into politics they have a strong character right? maybe they have a penchant for the truth mm. a king and two pages so this person may already have children or they have several students or something like that maybe they're building some sort of a um, platform or whatever the case may be a singer or a dancer possibly Very intuitive, very emotionally wise is what is what's coming in here. Yeah. The Ace of Cups, a new romance headed towards you, right? This is what this person's seek, seeking with you. They're wanting to bring you this overflowing cup of love, right? They've built up all this self-love, right? And now they're wanting to come towards you and share in uh, some sort of a wish fulfillment. That's what they're seeing you as. It looks like they've attained some sort of a wish fulfillment, right? That could be that self-love. And they're wanting to share it with you. You guys are going to have a very spiritual connection, though. A lot of fives showing up. Seven of Cups, smoke screens and illusions. Yeah, they were picky. They're coming towards you. Like I said, they're not accepting any new offers, but they're coming after you, right? Eight and nine of swords, trying to break out of these negative or toxic thoughts. I'm not sure if it's like some sort of a, a confidence issue. Or again, they could just be nervous. Yeah, the person's definitely been overworking, burning the midnight oil, possibly. Wanting to change up their, um, their financial status or possibly their health. What's the break deck message? Yeah, they could be obsessed with like beauty or something like that. Venus energy is what I'm getting, right? Leo energy strongly coming through. I mean, it is the 8-8 Lion Gates portal, and we are in Leo season. Strength did show up. This person's like, I have the right to be beautiful. I'm thinking about justice and karma, balance and peace. This person's like, I have, I have, I have the right to have a good life. <laughs> Giving Kanye West good life. Yeah, very positive energy, though. This person is coming towards you as a triple masculine. Yeah. All the kings showed up except for the king of pentacles. So 
they could be some sort of a professor or maybe they're some sort of a religious leader or something like that. Right? They will say, oh, this person's a cult leader or whatever the case, right? Hmm. Yeah. Or whatever they've heard about this person, but they're very uh, creative, very sexually mature as well as emotionally mature. They're very, uh, they could be like a motivational speaker or some sort of a thought leader or thought provoker. Definitely this person has to run some sort of a platform because there's a lot of people around this person that's trying to learn from them. They see you as wish fulfillment, though, as a very viable romantic option that would be worth a partnership, business, or pleasure. Since this is romance, I think they're seeking out marriage with you, a long-lasting union. We have the star card. I'm not sure why I pulled that from the top. But they see you as wish fulfillment and hope, right? Maybe you're an Aquarius, or this person is an Aquarius. Elpis. Yeah, they see you as a bright, shining light. Yeah, they may see you as a celebrity, or this person this person may have celebrity potential or something like that. Right? Like attracts like. You don't necessarily have to be a celebrity. You just might have a big light, right? Hmm. Again, the light or the personality or your spirit shining through. Three of Wands. Getting equal partnership. They wanted to meet you halfway. Your break deck message. Eight of Pentacles and a magician. I told you they was a magician. They're working hard towards uh, building some sort of a finance uh, finances. Or this could be them consistently manifesting a relationship with you, putting in a lot of hard work. Again, burning the midnight oil, right? You know, maybe this person is doing some sort of a ritual or they're praying. The Magician with the Eight of Swords. It's kind of like being an entrepreneur. Ooh, it's kind of like being an entrepreneur, right? You um, you put in more hours of work than other people, right? If you wasn't alive, I talked about how I, I get my best ideas and I'm usually up in the middle of the night. So it could be something like that as well, right? Um, Nine of Swords, sleeplessness, right? Nervousness or anxiety. Mm -hmm. I think I created my first tarot deck in the middle of the night. Your final break deck message, the King of Cups. They're showing back up. They're being consistent. Eight of Pentacles, right? They're very, they're so they're wanting to be supportive to you, empathetic and sympathetic, coming in um, with this King of Cups energy, the most romantic card of, uh, or the most romantic king. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just like a woman having resting bitch face. There's nothing wrong with a man either wearing heart, his heart on his sleeve or knowing when and where to be uh, emotionally relevant, right? <laughs> Discipline in their emotions. And then the Ace of Pentacles is paired with. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for uh, monetary success and abundance, right? This could be a new job. Again, this person is possibly trying something out. There was definitely a change in this person's finances. So maybe they're an entrepreneur. Maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they want to be like a, a massage therapist out of nowhere. Or maybe they want to follow a spiritual system and heal people emotionally. Right? It looks like they're going to be very abundant here. Or this could be this King of Cups coming in and offering you this Ace of Pentacles, this marriage here. Yeah, look what we have, the Nine of Cups. With the Ace of Cups, that's the Ten of Cups. That's wish fulfillment and lineage. So yeah, with the two pages that showed up, this person possibly wants to have children with you. Or we can see a blended family union with you. Overall, very positive message. Again, this person sees you as wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, and the Star card. They're coming towards you very romantically, very passionately. This is a very smart person. You may be able to have some decent conversations with this individual. Um, divine masculine energy. So yeah, a leader, a strategist. Mm -hmm. Maybe they create their own, um, well, everyone should create their own boundaries, but this person creates their own success, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of people look up to this person as well. Right? They're a symbol of strength. So that is what I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this second reading for the day. Don't forget to go back and watch the live at some point. Maybe it's going to be available later in the day or tomorrow. I don't know. Those lives are weird. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the reading that you have gotten here today, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, I'm also offering... Um, the personal readings as well. So if you want to request a personal reading, 
from me at this time, just check the description box, get that information, and contact me. And we'll get to it. It's been fun. Yeah, this person definitely um, thinks about you a lot. Yeah. Along with the romance and passion, you know where that comes. Yeah, they're sexually attracted to you. This person may even see this relationship as meditative or um, very peaceful. Yeah, I think this person is looking for like um, someone similar to them. Like they want to have a, 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 what is it? So they want a peaceful relationship with you, a balanced relationship. That doesn't mean bland. It means they want to have their highs and lows with you, right? And they want to have their exciting times, right? When you guys are like skydiving and shit like that. And then they also want to have times where you guys are just chilling, right? Cuddling in bed, Netflix and chilling, whatever the case may be, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.